it's time to start. How about that cigar? And thanks so much for watching our live coverage of the 2021 PCA Trade Show. How about that cigar? PCA Trade Show 2021 trade show coverage here. We are so grateful to be standing here with Jose Blanco, the legend, and talking about Arturo Fuente cigars, talking about PCA. How are you, friend? I'm good as a COVID survivor, which I survived because I smoke cigars. <laughs> Great to see you and Garrett, of course. Yeah. So you had a long journey to get here, but uh, it's very exciting to be back at, at, uh, at PCA with all of our friends and family. Definitely. I mean, I've been coming to when it started RTDA, then when it's IPCPR, now PCA. I think this is my 23rd, 24th. So it's amazing just to be here in Vegas and seeing friends and be able to uh, give hugs to the people. I mean, it we're in heaven. Yeah, and it's... It's been such uh, a long time, of course, since we've been together. No trade show last year. But with this year and, you know, a little bit of a different feel to the trade show, but still a lot of positivity. There's re I don't feel any doom and gloom for people. Everybody seems really positive this year. The important thing is that the people are here, whether it's 50, 200, 300, 400, 500 people. The people are here, first of all, to support the PCA, support CRA, and also to see their suppliers and their friends have exchanges to see what's happening in the different states, the tax situations, the FDA, the support of the CRA, after we all have to stay together to make our industry stronger. Yeah. It's all about, it's all about, like Carlito said, it's not about the cigars. It's all about people. Yeah. And that's, that's one of those things that, that we have really tried to tried to emulate as well and with all the the people here you know in in the fuente and, and newman booth there's such a family feel to it because fuente is such a family guided company and the principles that guide the company are, are family-based principles that feels it, it you can feel that in the booth here how are how are the the retailers you know so far in this first day with greeting everybody i don't know we're all happy hugs kisses, handshakes, how are you, how's this, how's the family, how's the dog, how's business. It's, it's exciting because being locked up was terrible. But at the same time, if we didn't have what you guys do in the Coops of the World and Eric does, it would have been kind of different because a lot of people don't understand. Virtual is here to stay. We could all go in two months and the world be cured of COVID and the virtuals will continue. Now, I do have to say this. Shows like yours will continue. There's a lot of people trying to do a lot of things. It's all about the facts. You guys really have to do the research. I like the style you have because you research. You're professional. You don't badmouth anybody. And you're more than anything else respectful, which I appreciate it. And all your followers and the great job that you guys have done, it's going to be now close to two years, right? A little over, a little over two okay, years. Okay, a little over two years. Yeah. So if you've been doing it, because we know people that it's been around for three months and they're gone. So you've been consistent. Yeah. You've had great guests. But what you bring is a quality show every single week. Oh, thank we appreciate that. And the only the only person I badmouth is Garrett. Oh, yeah. So Everybody badmouths him. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about what, you know, because obviously it's a trade organization. The retailers are here. People want to sell cigars. The retailers want to buy cigars. So what is it besides the relationship building and getting back together? What is it that Arturo Fuente as a company wants to get out at this year's trade show and tell people about? What we want to get out is every cigar we make is so it's not about that. What we want is the organization and the retailers to be more united, that people engage more with the companies that do support brick and mortar. I don't have anything against the big companies, but at the end of the day, you have to protect your shop. And I always encourage consumers to support your local brick and mortar because you go to a brick and good brick and mortar, they're going to educate you. They're going to bring good events. 
if you have a problem, they're going to take care of you. And that's the difference between buying a cigar on the internet and going to a cigar shop, a professional tobacconist, and get that attention. You're not going to get it on that. And like I said, I don't have anything against the internet of that, but I've always been a big supporter of the brick and mortar, and I will support them all my life. Yeah. And that's why, again, that's why this event is so important. That's why the organization that puts on the event is so important. PCA is something that uh, we want everybody to understand and, and really be celebrate the fact that PCA is here for all of us. And if we don't support them, then they're not going to have what they need to support us as an industry and as a, as a culture. But not only that, we have to strengthen the CRA. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people said they haven't done enough. Well, you know why the CRA hasn't done enough? Because we don't have enough money to do it. I've always considered the CRA the last line of defense. And I was in a very important meeting with them yesterday. There's a lot of new ideas we're getting. We're getting more people involved. But if we don't come and defend this right that we have, eventually we will get screwed. Yeah. Yeah, and that is absolutely true. Cigar smokers have to be, we have to be active in, we have to engage. We have to engage. And so that's, that's one of the messages we bring out to you guys. Uh, what's, what's a good final word you have for us here at PCA 21? Well, the only, one, the only thing I want to say, I want to thank all the retailers that came out to support us, all the media that came out to support us. You guys have done a great job supporting the CRA supporting the brick and mortar shops, supporting the PCA. And like I said, again, if we do not stick together, we will be doomed. So I know that this year we're going to have a good show, but I know that next year we're going to have a better show. And we're working very close to the PCA to make the show much better. So I wish everybody to have a good time here in Vegas or whatever state you are. Keep it smoky. God bless our country. God bless our troops. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks again, guys, for watching our PCA trade, co trade show coverage here live on YouTube and Facebook. Stay with us throughout the next few days. We're going to have plenty more coverage. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.